I'm in the second floor of my apartment, heaving, and I'm thinking I'm having a heart attack because I've never had an anxiety attack before. I literally crawl down the stairs onto my porch in this apartment complex in my 20s, and I begged a couple to take me to the hospital before I died. I thought I was going to die. The guy gives me Valium. He says, ah, here, take some Valium. And, and I said, no. And he sticks it in my arm. I thought he was going to kill me. And about five seconds later, I wasn't anxious at all. <laughs> From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi, Steve Arterburn here. Thanks for joining me for Going Deeper. We're going deeper into anxiety. I don't want you to have more anxiety. I want you to have less or be able to process it maybe in a better way than you are. Well, let's ask a question. When was the first time anybody had any anxiety on the world? Well, I think it was old Adam and Eve. I mean, here they were. Don't eat this fruit. Watch out for snakes. They're really tempting. And they failed at both. And the second that they committed that sin, they were anxious and wanted to hide. And, and it was a totally different world. And if we'd been there, we'd have done the same thing, so we can't be thinking we're, we're better than Adam and Eve. But there's anxiety in the world. And we feel it every day. Some feel a generalized anxiety. It's just everything's kind of um, on edge all the time. Others have panic attacks and are afraid to go to a certain place or even to leave their home. It comes in so many different forms. But here's what it's got in common, no matter what form it's in. It's real uncomfortable to be anxious. I remember when I was headed off from Texas out to California. I'd been promoted. I was being moved. I didn't even give it a second thought. And all of a sudden, I'm in the second floor of my apartment, heaving. And I'm thinking I'm having a heart attack because I've never had an anxiety attack before. I literally crawl down the stairs onto my porch in this apartment complex in my 20s. And I begged a couple to take me to the hospital before I died. I thought I was going to die. The guy gives me Valium. He says, ah, here, take some Valium. And, and I said, no. And he sticks it in my arm. I thought he was going to kill me. And about five seconds later, I wasn't anxious at all. <laughs> what I was was ashamed. I was embarrassed. I didn't even know people did that. I'd heard about anxiety attacks. I was having a heart attack. Anyway, so I know what it's like to feel extreme discomfort from anxiety. Now, other than that, I got to tell you, I like a little anxiety. I like a little edge. And that, that could be a, a defect that I have. But look, here's the thing. Anxiety is when we feel dis distressed over anything. Or we dread something's going to happen. Or we're worried about something else. And, and maybe there's um, an anticipation of disaster up ahead. All of that is anxiety. It's probably the most common dilemma that people face in the United States. Uh, you know, depression is very high. But recently, we've had a lot of reasons to be anxious. So that's why I want to do a little series. And we'll just be doing anxiety series on and off in Going Deeper. Now, here's a really great thing about anxiety. It is treatable, and you could say it's curable. In other words, you, can't, you don't just treat it to minimize it, but a person that's been struggling for years with something could no longer struggle. The other day on radio, we had a woman who uh, she called in, and uh, she had a tubal pregnancy, and her father died in the same year of a heart attack. And she was paralyzed with fear as a result of these two traumas, one on top of the other. 
For years, she had been struggling with this, and it was just getting worse. Never been to a counselor to deal with it. Never had a psychiatrist help her with medication, just the general practitioner. And I was so grateful that she called because there's a treatment and there is a way to get over anxiety being a debilitating factor in your life. Now, if you want that, then you need to call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Or you tune in next time and I'll give you some of the ways that we get over the anxiety that we hate to have. Thanks for joining me here on Going Deeper. You go deeper into God's Word, and if you need a Bible to do that, I'll send you a Restoration Bible. All you have to do is just email me. Say, hey, send me one of them Vibe Bibles, and email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.